What is up guys, this is iUpdateOS, and today I'm going to show you guys my top 5 favorite notification center tweaks for iOS 6. And before we do get started, I would just like to wish everybody out there a happy and safe 4th of July. So now that we have covered that, let's get to the tweaks. Now the first one I will be telling you guys about today is called NC Settings. So as you can see here, you can get toggles from your notification center, which is super convenient. Now I do have all of my toggles customized to what I prefer, but here's how you can customize them to what you would like. You can just head over to your settings section for NC settings, and then you can see you've got a lot of options to configure. And the first option you will be able to see is the toggles area. So when you click on that, you can see all of the ones that I have set in the on section. Now I am fairly sure that when you do download NC settings for the first time, all of the toggles will be set to the on section. But I realized instead of paging through all of my toggles and looking at all the ones that I really don't use, I just set the 8 that I use the most in my on section. So you can see if I do drag one up to the on section and then pull back to my notification center and I page over, it will be right behind my power option. You can configure some volume and vibrate options, but I just left them the way that the developer made them. But the most important part here is the appearance section. This is really cool. You can download a bunch of NC setting themes from Cydia. Now I have mine on the blue setting, which is when a toggle is enabled, it will appear blue as you see here. You can also make it default, which will make it white. And if you have a theme installed that covers NC settings, you can see I have the iOS 7 option below. That's because I do have an iOS 7 theme. You can see when I enable that, it makes it look just like the control center options from iOS 7 itself. In the last setting you can configure is how many toggles you have in portrait and landscape mode. Now you can set 3, 4, or 5. For example, when you see I do click the 5 option and then go back to the notification center, I will have 5 toggles versus 4. I personally enjoy the 4 option, so I'm just going to keep it there. And then you can set landscape options as well. Now I have covered this next tweak before, but I did feel it was important enough to make my top 5 notification center tweaks video. It is called Blurried NC Background, and it allows you to make your background of your notification center blurry. And if you do head over to the settings panel of Blurried NC Background, you will see you've got some settings to configure. The first option you do have is the active switch, which of course will turn the tweak on or off. And the next option is under the blur section. Now it is called Gaugasian Radius, or I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Having it all the way to the right will make it extremely blurry. However, having it all the way to the left will make it so that you can pretty much read everything behind your notification center. I personally have mine all the way to the right. Now next you have tint color. Now to make mine look like iOS 7's notification center, I do have mine set to black, with my color opacity about 75% of the way to the right. However, you can set any of the tint colors that you'd like. For example, I can make it red, and then when I go back to my notification center, it'll be red. And after you've set it to the color that you do like the most, you can adjust the color opacity. Once again, I do have mine about 75% of the right normally, but you can adjust it to whatever you want depending on your preference. And finally, if you do have a tweak like IntelliScreen X installed, you can set it to not be blurry when you're on your lock screen. The next tweak is called Compose. Now what this tweak allows you to do is compose an email or a text message straight from your notification center. And as you can see, when I click on the new email button, it will come up with a full email dialog. You can put to subject and then of course your message. And when I do click on the new message button, it will come up with a to section and then of course the area for your message, just like from the messages app. And there are some options you can configure for this tweak as well. So if I do head over to settings and then click on the compose section, the first option that you're going to see is the open in messages app one. Now when you do enable that, instead of opening the dialog for messages straight from Notification Center, it will actually launch the Messages app and then come up with the message dialog. This is really helpful if you do have a tweak enabled like Byte SMS. And you can also configure custom button labels. So for example, instead of it saying New Mail, I am going to change it to New Email. You can see that when I do enable the Custom Button Labels option and then go back to Notification Center, it will say New Email. And this next tweak is titled, Tap 2 Widgets. Now when you go into your notification center, you will see that you've got these options. You've got a tap to add section, a tap to notes section, and then a tap to remind section. Clicking on the tap to add section will come up with a really neat calendar dialog. You can put a title, a location, 
when the event starts and ends, and you can even settle an alert. You can see that as soon as I hit that add button, it will show up in my events for today for my calendar widget. Next is tap to note, which of course will launch a note dialog. You can enter anything you want, and then of course when you do hit that add button, it will automatically be sent to your notes app. And your final option you can configure is the tap to remind section. Clicking that will of course bring up the reminder dialog. You can set an alarm for when you would like to be reminded, and then of course you can enter what your actual reminder is. Clicking add will of course show up immediately in your reminders for that day. If you do head over to the tap to widget section of settings, you've got some options there as well. Enabling the auto close option will after you've added an event, reminder, or note, it will automatically close notification center. I personally do have that option turned off. And then instead of all the tap two widgets taking up so much space, you can enable them side by side. So you can see when I click on the side by side option, I can organize them all into one row. And you can even include the Twitter and Facebook options so you can free up some more space there. To enable the side by side row we've just configured, click the notification section in settings. You'll have to scroll all the way down to the bottom to the section that says not in notification center. Then click edit in the top right and then drag it up to the in use section. Then if you do launch notification center, you can see you have a side by side row of all your options. This is a very handy tweak that I would definitely recommend. And our last tweak for my top 5 notification center tweaks is very very small, but it helps me out a lot. As you can see in the very bottom right of my notification center, you see a little tiny settings icon. Now the name of this tweak is a fix. So when you do tap that small icon, it will shoot you over to the settings section for notification. This tweak will come in handy if you are in an app and you'd like to go over to the settings app really fast. That will do it for my top 5 notification center tweaks for iOS 6. If you have enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you did tap that like button. And if you have any questions about any of the tweaks I have mentioned in this video, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And if you are interested in more Cydia tweaks, make sure you do click that subscribe button to be notified when I upload more videos. Thanks and have a great 4th of July.